This is problem two of future value with compounded interest using the Finance app on the TI-89 calculator. To see a more detailed explanation of the Finance app for the TI-89 calculator, you need to go to problem one. Click here for problem one. Let's open the Finance app. Highlight the Finance app and hit enter. This is information from problem one. To clear this data, hit F1. This drop down box appears and we want to choose number eight, clear editor. You can either scroll down and highlight number 8 and hit enter, or you can directly hit 8 on the calculator keypad. Now we're ready to enter new information. Problem number 2. You put $3,000 into a bank 2-year certificate of deposit, CD, that has an interest rate of 2.5% APR, compounded monthly. How much money do you have at the end of the 2 years? Let's enter the data. N, total number of periods. That would be 2 years times 12 compounding periods per year equals 24. Just enter 2 times 12 and move to the next variable below and the calculator will automatically calculate the 24. I percent is the interest rate. Enter 2.5. Do not convert this into a decimal. PV, present value. We take $3,000 out of our pocket and put it into a 2-year CD. Because we're taking money out of our pocket, enter a negative 3,000. Make sure you use a negative sign and not a minus sign. If you use a minus sign, you get a syntax error. PMT is regular payments made. We didn't add to the CD throughout the two years, so we're going to leave this uh, number as zero. FV, fair value. That's a variable we're calculating for. We'll come back to that later. PPY and CPY are related. They are payments per year and compoundings per year. We have interest compounding monthly, thus 12 compoundings per year. Enter 12 for both PPY and CPY. PMTN, begin. This is payments at the beginning or payments at the end. 95% of the time is going to be at the end, so leave this at the end, unless the problem specifically states payments are at the beginning. Now move up to FV fair value and highlight it. Press the F2 key to calculate. There is the answer. At the end of two years we will have $3,153.65. That's it. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.